How you doing? This is Mr. Tiberi here. Today we're going to take a look at a 2004 Ford Escape. Uh, we're going to do a fuel pump current draw test. So I'll show you uh, how to perform this test with uh, two meters, two different style of meters. So let's take a look. Alright, so the first step in performing this is we want to actually check battery voltage. We want to make sure it's in good shape. So we'll take our meter. I'll use this fluke meter first. Alright, so right there we got 12.23 volts. Uh, not bad. We're looking for 12.6. Next step we're going to do is we're going to locate the underhood central junction box where all the fuses and the relays are located. Alright, so over here you can see we've got all of our relays and all of our fuses for our underhood for our engine and transmission. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look inside of the cover. We're going to try to find the fuel pump relay, which is located right here. And that would be this relay right here. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove that relay. I'll just put that off to the side. Now the next step, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our meter and we have to change our meter so that it's going to measure current. So we're going to go ahead. Right. I also have another video showing you how to set up meters for different readings. So you can go on my channel and watch those if you need to. Alright, now that we got our meter set up. The next step is we have to uh, look at our relay. Now that's probably one of the most important steps. We have to determine what is the switching side. Now for fuel pumps and for most relays, you typically have battery voltage at terminal number 30 on your relay. So that would be this terminal right here. Okay, it's labeled on there. And then it switches over to terminal number 87, which is this one right here where my thumb is pointing. So what we want to do so we want to bypass and use our ammeter and go from terminal 30 to 87 inside of the socket in the central junction box. So make sure that you know which terminals you're going to. You don't want to go from terminal 30 to let's say 85 or 86. But if you do that, you could supply battery voltage directly into the PCM and you could cause a problem. So if you need further assistance, just consult the wiring diagram. But in this case, we're going to go from terminal 30 to 87. So we're going to take a look at the socket right down here. And just pretending like you're putting the relay in. So then you can identify quickly that this right here is terminal number 30. And this far one right here is terminal number 87. So that's where I want to put both of my leads. And as soon as I do that, I'm going to energize the fuel pump. And then I'll be able to read the current draw. And we're typically looking for port fuel injection. You're looking for anywhere from 4 to 8 amps of current draw. So go ahead and we'll set that up. Alright, so right there we get 5.5 amps of current. Notice how there's a negative symbol right there. That's just because my leads are reversed. So if I pull my leads out and I switch them, I should get the exact same reading without the negative. Okay, so there you go. So I don't know if you could hear it in the background, but there's a slight hum, and that's the fuel pump being energized. Now we're going to do the same test with a slightly cheaper meter. Alright, so same thing, we're going to take this dial, go over to 10 amps DC, take a positive lead, pull it out, switch it over to the 10 amp position. Okay, once you have that, go into the two terminals again. And there you go. So, pretty close to the same reading. So, 
I typically trust the flukes more, but the honest truth is, either one of them will work just fine for this application. So, now a good read, as I said before, is anywhere between four to eight amps current draw for this particular style of fuel injection. If you have a current draw that is too high, then you could have a faulty fuel pump, you could have a clogged fuel filter, uh, you could also have a pinched or restricted fuel line, uh, delivery line. If the current draw is too low, then what you want to look for is excessive resistance, okay, electrically. So somewhere down the line, it could be a ground going to the fuel pump, it could be the power wire going to the fuel pump. You want to make sure that all those connections are clean and in good shape. Okay? But if you get a reading like we did, fuel pump skirt draws in good working order. Alright. Thanks for watching.